What's good everyone, Peter here aka StudyMate and today I'm going to be kicking off my new series called the Numerai Starter Pack where I'm going to give you everything you need as a new participant to the Numerai Tournament in order to make your own model that you can eventually stake on. In today's video I'm going to be doing a quick introduction to Numerai where I'll give a overview, some starting resources, and a few tips and tricks that I've gotten from my time in the tournament. So let's jump into it. First, let's get some disclaimers out of the way. The first one is that nothing I cover in this series is financial advice. I'm purely gonna be looking at things from a technical perspective. The second is that I'm not officially affiliated with the Numerai team. I'm just making these videos because I think it's a really cool project. But if I could summarize everything in uh, one statement about Numerai and Numeraire, we definitely like the token. But what is Numerai? Numerai's goal is to create an AI-powered crowdsourced hedge fund. And the two ways that it does that is through the Numerai Tournament and through Numerai Signals. Now, both of those require that you buy their cryptocurrency, Numeraire, in order to invest or stake on your models. Who is Numerai for? I actually think that if you're either learning to code or trying to build out your portfolio to land a new job or just find a new side hustle, I think that Numerai lets you do all those three things at once. And the only catch is that they are the self-proclaimed hardest data science tournament in the world. And from my own experience in the tournament, I can definitely co-sign that. Definitely a notch above any hackathon or online competition I've participated in, but I really think that that makes it a little bit more rewarding once you do get into the tournament and get your feet wet. So let's jump into the Numerai tournament. Now, from their definition, the Numerai tournament is a data science tournament where you build machine learning models on obfuscated financial data to predict the stock market. Now, that's a lot, so I've broken that down into four steps. One, Numerai sends you anonymous quant fund quality data for free on a weekly basis. Now by anonymous or obfuscated, all that means is that everything has kind of been renamed so that we don't know what it really maps to in the real world, but I'll be making a video in the future on a full breakdown for the tournament data, so we'll just leave that here for now. Two, you use the data to train a machine learning model, and in brackets here, I left it a bit open. I personally like Python, that's what I have the most experience with, but I know that there's a lot of people who use R and I mean, I've seen some really cool stuff done in Excel as well. So I think as the tournament opens up a bit, maybe some cool people can do some Excel based solutions for the tournament. Three, you make predictions about equities and submit them to Numerai. Now, again, we don't know which, what exactly we're predicting on, but it's really important to note that all we actually submit to Numerai is our predictions. We don't actually share our strategy with them, and that's a really cool feature about the tournament that I like that is unique to Numerai. In other tournaments, there have been the requirement to hand over your code, um, which is a bit gray in my opinion and not a big fan of that. Four, Numerai assesses your submissions and uses them to make trades. Now, I put a little asterisk here because it is a little bit more nuanced than that. They actually created a meta model that takes all of the participants' models as inputs, but I'm just going to leave it there for now because it is a bit more complicated uh, for today. A. If your predictions were good and you staked Numeraire on your model, then you are rewarded with Numeraire. And B, if your predictions were bad and you staked Numeraire, then your Numeraire is earned. Now, two key things here. One, there are two metrics that Numerai is currently using uh, that I'm going to cover in a future video uh, to really flesh out exactly what a good uh, submission is and what a bad one is. And the second thing is that I really, on this burning portion, want to highlight that Numerai does not gain any Numerair when we submit bad predictions. They do not win when we lose. Numerair is just burned and it essentially evaporates. And that's, I think, a really cool relationship for the tournament because Numerai is incentivized for us to succeed. They want us to win because then they get good predictions and they do better as well. And when we do bad, they don't win. They The Numerair is just burned. It's not like they get that back. And I think that that's a really key point for the tournament because it makes for a really good community and a good relationship between the participants and Numerai where everyone wants each other to essentially succeed because they're incentivized to do so. But why should we use Numerai? Now, from a trading perspective, 
If we take a look at the image I have here, I think that from the quantitative trading pipeline, Numerai takes away the most infrastructure heavy portions. Now, the first one being data acquisition, it can be really costly and hard to get the data that you need to uh, feed your machine learning model. And the second being execution. I've listed a few here being latency, trading fees, and slippage as some of the things that can take a really good and profitable strategy and just turn it into either a mediocre or um, losing one. Now, the three that we're left with as participants are the ones that really only take uh, coding. And for the large part, a lot of these open source libraries are free. Now for feature selection, model training, uh, normalization and risk mitigation, all of those things in my case can be done with Python, Jupyter, and again, maybe like pandas and SK learn. And that's why I think you can make a good case on why to participate in the tournament, because if you didn't, there's a lot of stuff that you would have to worry about on your own. To pivot into more of a career perspective to all of my students and job seekers out there, I think that Numerai can be a really cool, unique portfolio piece to show off your data science and machine learning skills. I think that applying your skills to a live project, remember all of our work is going to be eventually applied to the live stock market, really stands out instead of having a perfect kind of out of the box problem to apply your skills to. And if we were to look at things from the number of participants, if we look at the number of people actually actively staking in the Numerai tournament, there's only something to the tune of three to 4,000. Whereas with the Titanic competition on Kaggle, one of the entry level ones, there is something like 20,000 people. So with Numerai, I think you really help yourself stand out with a really cool project. And lastly, buzzwords have a multiplicative effect. So whenever you start talking about the AI powered crypto hedge fund that you are participating in, I think that'll really turn some heads and maybe even confuse some people into giving you an interview. I also wanted to touch on the roadmap for Numerai and Numerare. I have the master plan here linked that was written by Richard Crabe, the founder of Numerai, as there are a lot of really cool projects surrounding this space. Now, the first one being Erasure Bay, which is centered around the Erasure protocol that Numerare uses based around information transactions, which is really cool. And also Numerai Signals, which I mentioned earlier and we'll be doing a video on in the future, which is the newest tournament released by Numerai. And as a user, I think it's just reassuring to see new features being released uh, and that this project wasn't just a one and done. Let's look at resources. So these are my top five resources that I used when I was getting situated in the tournament. Number one is Rocket Chat, where you can just have a live chat with other participants or the Numerai team. They're really good at engaging any problems that you might have or even questions with other community members. So I would definitely get in there and you know, don't be shy, get in there and start a conversation or just say hi and post your memes. Two, we have the Numerai Docs. So this is what I even use for this series. A lot of really good information in there that the Numerai team provides. And there's even some pieces from community members that have done notebooks or posts about um, some of the Numerai concepts. So definitely check those out. Next, we have the Numerai Forums where you can make posts about Numerai topics. I think that there's a lot of older posts on on there that have a really, uh, really good conversation around a lot of key topics for the tournament and surrounding uh, just community topics. Or Office Hours with Arbitrage. This was something I watched a ton of when I got in, where one of the longer and older um, community members, Arbitrage, interviews community members and has on a panel of people that just talk about the tournament and take up questions or topics. And it was really helpful just to wrap my head around exactly what this thing was when I first joined. So definitely check out Office Hours with Arbitrage. He also does a daily, daily scores and chill uh, Twitch stream where you can just go in and, and chat and talk about Numerai. So definitely check out Arbitrage's content. Lastly, but not least, Marco Lopez de Prado's Advances in Financial Machine Learning. This is a godsend of a textbook because it touches not only on a lot of topics that you're going to need when joining the tournament, but also comes with Python code snippets. This is something that when I first joined was so essential just to have some backbone or skeleton code uh, to base my, my initial solution off of and to start from 
definitely super relevant if you were trying to uh, participate in the tournament. So I would definitely check that out. I think he was a keynote speaker at one of the uh, numerate conventions previously. So definitely someone to uh, keep an eye on and, and definitely pick up this textbook. I would 100% recommend it. So my tips and tricks. I kept it really high level with these, but I would say my number one tip is to just do it, make stuff. It's actually free to submit a model to the Numerai tournament without staking anything on it and just seeing how it does. Whether or not you're just joining and you want to come in and just throw something at the wall and see if it sticks, I think that's the best strategy for a new user. Just get your feet wet. Two, leverage open source as much as possible. Now, from academic work, I know that there are journals and some uh, papers that have code associated with the topics that they're covering. I've done that before and used that as another starting point for some of my uh, theories or some of my um, test solutions. So definitely start from there. Use as much um, code as well from some tutorials that other community members have posted in either the forums or the rocket chat. I think that that's a great place to start and you don't need to do as much work as a like, native from scratch solution. You don't need to go through all that. You can start from uh, someone else's uh, point of reference. Definitely a uh, big recommendation for me. Lastly, don't be shy. Like I mentioned, the community for this project is really uh, welcoming and inviting. And because of the nature of the tournament where it's not necessarily um, adversarial in that sense between participants, there have been a ton of really cool discussions being had all over either, again, the forums or the rocket chat. So go in, say hi, post a question. Even if it's, if you think it's dumb, someone will give you a, an answer. I've definitely posted a lot of dumb ones. So go out there and make sure to just, you know, start a discussion and don't be shy. Get out there and interact with people because there's nothing that you can lose from it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and good luck if you do end up participating in the Numerai tournament. If this content is something that you like and want more of, then make to like and subscribe to my YouTube. If you're here from my Twitch stream, then please make sure to follow my other socials as I will be posting and making some more Numerai related content there. I'll also find a way to get this notebook posted on GitHub so that you can reference all of the links that I talked about in this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.